Hello. Hello, watch out for the car. Next try. Hello. Hello. Today we're in the Orier Souk north of Agadir. We're going to be looking for some vegetables we don't always purchase here today. So some different things. We're gonna see what we could do with them in the kitchen eventually. Something like this? Yeah. How much? Five? 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 Yeah. I like these pants, but they are too small for me. Artichokes. Is that a flower? No, not really, but I've never cooked it, so we're gonna see what we can do with it. Uh, cooking quick with more acro. Who is in? Me. You, you, you can't say anything. I already declared it. Just people have to tell if they want it or not. Okay. Hard day at the souk, huh? Excuse me, sir. One kilo of the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah? Excuse me, one kilo of beets. He is not working at the moment. He has a break. Excuse me. Looking good? Yeah. Cauliflower. Are you gonna make me bush eggs? <laughs> no. No bush eggs for you. Oh, so sad. New friends? Yeah. He's not leaving you. No, he's too nice. Poor dog. Something I don't usually buy. Turnip? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Andrea will have to cook this one. No, I eat it raw. It's very good. It's like superfood. Good. We're going to be eating healthy this week, that's for sure. We're starting with vegetables. Instead of just going straight for the sweet fruits, we're getting our veggies in. You like big beets? Yeah. It might be more than a kilo though. You want souk brunch? Maybe. Depends what they're having. So far to get the green pepper. We are looking for red beans, but we're not going to find them, eh? No, I don't think so. How do you feel about cabbage? The cabbage is good. It should be hard. <laughs> Talk about new, new fruits. We said vegetables, but look at this one. It's a bloody, bloody mandarin i've never seen anything like this Me here eh? something new something new i try it it's interesting let's look at the insides there though it's like red and orange and i like it it's cool huh yeah very cool color all good yeah. three dirham a kilo for the blood clementines we'll see how they taste Cardon, cardon, six dirham. I don't really know what to do with it. This guy has nice stuff. Look, spinach. He's got good looking broccoli, yeah. yeah. Maybe I buy one of these at the end. Yeah, broccoli. So this is win. Yeah, it looks good and it's in the shade. Zata, zata, zata. 19. 19, 19. 
Oh no, I've, I've sucked it. Let me see. I think those are my flowers for Women's Day, no? Yeah, exactly what you wanted, right? Exactly. Perfect. Am I supposed to carry this now? Yeah. I walk like this now around the soak with this plant. Orange guy. Mm. Mm. Very good. What is this? Five, four, five kilos? Happy? Happy. Nash, <laughs> Nash, Seven dirham for blueberries. Mangoes. Put them in here. Michelle, right? I'm sorry. I'm the flutes. Okay, okay. Um, what do you think, Adria? Right. That's for you. No, you like the ride. It's ride, ride. Oh, do yogurt, 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 yogurt. Want to try? No. No. Wahe, wahe. Hello. Hello, Shukran. Are they from Morocco? Yeah, they have Triscoll's Europe, the Netherlands, but. Origin Morocco, so it's good. Oh, okay. Wonder um, how much these cost in Europe. Five. Oh, this one probably two and a half euros. And here? I don't know. <laughs> Five dirham. Yeah, take like three or four. All right, I'm feeling heavy and sweaty with all this stuff now. Watch out behind you. Watch out behind you. <laughs> Feeling heavy and sweaty with all this stuff now. Show so. us how many kilo do you carry? Too many. Wow. How are we doing? Wow, looks very beautiful. Thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. So it is a flower that hasn't budded yet. First time I've ever cooked with one of these. I had the guy chop off the long stalk at the souk because that's what the woman had. I didn't want to carry around a stalk. But now after watching some YouTube videos, I realized the stalk is delicious and similar flavor to the heart. And the heart is where we want to get eventually. We got to cut these off too. You got a pair of scissors? Mm, yeah, the one that you used for your strings. Perfect. So I'm supposed to cut these tips off they're spiky. I read the comment section on the on the artichoke video. And everyone's saying these are a pain in the butt. I am not gonna cook artichokes. And I see I see why people do this. My grandma would always make these, but whew, it's a lot of work. I think it's good enough. We're gonna just mostly eat the hearts. Um, I don't know why we cut the spiky bits off. Wait till we get to the choke. This is going to get interesting. Let's give it a little haircut. So the best time to eat artichokes is spring and fall. According to the videos, that's when the taste is going to be the best. You don't have to worry about the brown streaking so much on here. That's from frost. I don't know where these could have got frost. Um, so lemon is going to help with the browning, the oxidation that happens to your vegetables. It's already turning brown, so we're gonna rub some lemon on there. Squeeze there. it on. Oh, you're just gonna put it in maybe. there. Squeeze it on. Move this part away. It's all come off. It's good. 
I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in there, drop it in. Squeeze some more lemon in there. Drop it in. And let's see, hold on, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We're gonna add some olive oil. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna let this boil because we don't have a steamer. So can't make couscous without a steamer. Can't make uh, steamed artichokes. Let's see how this goes. I was absent for my yoga practice and look at this, what's this? This is American food. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Your grandma's recipe? No, this is uh, spinach artichoke dip is at like parties and bars and it's really delicious. Mm. How hot are these? Whoa, they're just falling apart now. That's good, then we don't use this. Look. Oh, I don't think that's good. That's okay. Yeah? That's how you eat them. But I we're... Hear, you're not gonna peel them, I think you peel this They're away. falling apart, <laughs> on, on, on. We need a tool. Oh, why the flash is on now? It's tool time. Whoa. I just hope it's being... Oh, no. I think I cooked them too long. Oh my gosh. so much of the artichoke heart. This is the part you don't eat. That's the hairy part that'll choke you. We really? want to eat this part. Really? I thought that's the part you should eat. No, and this is a part you eat too, is this meaty bit here. Yeah, that's good. Kinda, I mean, I just did it in olive oil and lemon, but this is how my grandma would cook it. I think she would fry these. It's actually really tasty. Want to try? Mm -hmm. What part are we going to use? I'm going to use this dark part here. Okay. Such a little part, no? Yeah, it's the heart. Whoa, it's so hot. And this is the part you don't eat because it's hairy. Not so nice. But this, I don't know, it's brown. I think that's okay. Looks okay. I don't really, I don't know, I've never cooked it. Tastes okay. Looks cooked. So I'm gonna put this in pieces in here. Yeah. Just like this. Well, hopefully that's not the choky part either. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be all right. Weird. Look at that. Ugh. It looks like some eggs. <laughs> Weird. That's the second one. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Whoa. Wow, spooky. <laughs> haircut. Haircut. I did your haircut. You need a haircut too. If only my beard was this easy to cut. Oh, it's hot. Whoever invented this is crazy. Artichokes are not a normal vegetable to cook, I would say, in my book. It's not a vegetable, it's a flower. Right? I don't know if, yeah, vegetable. Mm, that's a good point. Could be a little more bubbly brown, but we couldn't wait to eat it. I think it's gonna be hot already, eh? Yeah. It's not too hot, but we're hungry. Ooh. It looks very hot. Yeah, it's hot there. Hope this is good. It's all right, but I prefer my buffalo chicken dip. The salt, 
this is my attempt at spinach artichoke dip. It's, uh, it's, I don't know. It's a work in progress. We'll see how Andrea sees it. Okay, Andrea doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll check in when we eat it some more. In the end, we both clearly liked it. It was a lot for two people for a meal. It's more of a shared party dish or starter. But we used some fresh ingredients from the souk, some Moroccan jebli and pearly, some of the local cheeses here in the substitute of sour cream or cream cheese, and it turned out really good. So fire up your belly and your taste buds. You're gonna say goodbye? <laughs> goodbye! <laughs> And thank you, Andrea, for filming today's episode. You're welcome. <laughs> and I want to use this time now to say a very special happy, happy birthday, birthday to Amelia, the big 10 years old, double digits. Happy birthday, happy Amelia. Happy birthday. Ghibli. Do you like Ghibli, Ghibli?